My name is Dylan Earshook and I am the information collector. Today I'm coming to you from Greenville, South Carolina. I'm right off I-80, I-385. It's not far from the I-85 interchange. This is the Butler Road exit. And across from me, not only can you see the traffic, but you can see the growth. That is a new hotel. So I thought it would be good to show some of the amazing growth in Malden. The European Investment Bank is accelerating funds they have loaned to Madagascar for rebuilding railroads and infrastructure. The EIB has a 50 year history with development in Madagascar. This money will be administered by the Ministry of Public Works to repair roads and dams. This is part of a 18 year loan that was given in 2017. This will go toward traffic control in the capital, Antananarivo, to an expansion of the Jarama and Kalika hydropower dam, to access to ports in North and South Madagascar, to electric lines between Antananarivo and Tuamasina seaport, which will be 270 kilometers of 220 kilovolt lines. Last Tuesday, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo gave a speech at the National Press Club regarding the Iran Al Qaeda axis. He pointed out that while Al Qaeda was not welcome in Iran pre 9 11, that there was training conducted for Al-Qaeda operatives in Lebanon's Becca Valley during that time period. Um, a letter found in bin Laden's Abbottabad compound stressed the importance of cooperating with Iran. Pompeo cited a 2013 Canadian investigation into a passenger train bomb plot with connections from the terrorist in the cell to al-Qaeda members in Iran. He alleged that even as the Obama administration finalized the Iranian nuclear deal, Tehran was increasing the freedom it allows al-Qaeda with safe haven and documents. This week, Joe Biden will be sworn in as the 46th President of the United States. We congratulate him and wish him well. One thing he has already promised to do is reduce support for the oil and gas industry. He was quite strident about this in one of the debates. Um, Steichman Elliott a prominent Canadian law firm, one of the most prominent Canadian law firms, on January 15th released a press release summarizing an interview of partner Ben Hoody with Canadian Lawyer. Uh, they believe 2021 will see consolidation in the oil and gas industry. for greater efficiencies and stronger balance sheets. Mr. Hootie predicted institutional investors will use more creative financial tools to finance long, larger investments. Um, this is important because the oil and gas industry, with the reduction of federal support, will consolidate. There will be fewer players for investors, this is an opportunity. For oil, for oil and gas, gas workers, eh, probably not so much.
anyone who has been to a soccer game knows that there is a tradition of enthusiasm, uh, a time-honored tradition. The Greenville Triumph games are no exception, and I will never forget a soccer game in Asheville where the City League had an enthusiastic fan pounding away on a huge empty water bottle. Like, you know, the water cooler bottles. Anyway, uh, unfortunately, sometimes this rowdy behavior can... The enthusiasm can lead to hooliganism. And uh, rowdy behavior at football games in Europe has led to some fans being blacklisted. Uh, Panasonic released new facial recognition software to beat these disguises that some fans use to get back in and cause trouble. Uh, this is the first facial recognition system approved under the European Union's privacy protection regulation and incorporates Panasonic's artificial intelligence deep learning technology 